Thought I'd do a quick tour of the greenhouse here in Springville, Utah. This is a greenhouse in the snow kit. It's a geothermal greenhouse. We've added solar and solar works great. Sometimes it's not perfect. So we keep power as the backup. So we've got a little bit of growth around the greenhouse. We don't mind that when it's really warm. There's a vent. I'll show you the back. I get hit by the sprinkler. We grow, we've got fruit trees, a line of fruit trees on the back and then grapes, berries, all kinds of stuff on the back. Full sun in the summer. See the shade cloth is rolled up and sitting on the back. So we are back to full sun, which we do in September. Each year we get a little shorter time with the shade cloth on, which we like. Now this vent, you can see we put some netting on it so that we can keep things like bees and ladybugs inside. This room is uh, just a I call it an equipment room. That's the solar right there. Solar is on and running. Middle fan, when the middle fan is running and the two big fans are not, it means that it's warm but not hot. Big fans will go on if it gets really hot. During the summer, they run quite a bit. It's a fig tree right there. I'll show you a bunch of citrus varieties in the way the way to see them. Dragon fruit. We've got a bunch of flowers, but still no fruit. Some bananas. We've got bananas in a couple places. Started with two, which we ordered, and we are always getting pops. We sell the little guys and keep uh, keep a couple. Grapefruit. Cold hardy avocado is the variety that works in this greenhouse. We've tried a couple different varieties. That's the one that's working. Happy to see it doing well because we've struggled. Passion fruit, one single vine. We let it kind of take over a lot of the ceiling in the summer. We're cutting it back frequently just to keep the dappled light. Pineapple. Figs do really well in here. This is a mate tree, which I thought I'd try. A lot of people like mate as a, as a green tea. It's another orange variety. There's a lime back here. We've got about nine or ten different citrus varieties in the greenhouse. Some succulents, just for fun. Peanut butter fruit tree. Some of these things are in pots to slow down their growth. We don't want trees to get gigantic, getting too big, so if we pot them, they don't grow as big. Others, we just haven't found a home where we want to plant them yet. Kumquats. Always get a harvest there. There's a mandarin citrus variety, Australian finger lime. This was tiny when we brought it in. Still no fruit, but that's okay. I'm getting guava fruit. There's one right there that hasn't been picked yet. More bananas. These banana trees over here, we've got a higher water table. These are the ones that grow faster and where we've had luck. We got a rack last year and I think we'll get a few more here soon. As these things get near the ceiling, that's where I think we're gonna hopefully get some fruit. Pond, if you've seen this before, we've got some koi in the pond. Aquaponics, this filter here helps us filter the fish waste which comes out here. It's really good fertilizer for the trees and plants. 
lot of these grow beds on the sides we don't use so much in the summer when we're growing outside but in the winter we can grow just about anything in here been a pretty decent summer the greenhouse is uh i think we got it closed up in 2019 right before covid nice time to have a place to get away from everything and uh so this is uh you know, over four years now, almost five, that we've had it going and it's getting more mature, it's doing better. The summers, of course, are the challenge out here in Springville because we do get hot in the summer, but each summer is better as these trees and vines get more mature and cover more of the ceiling. This was a very easy summer on us. That is a quick tour. Let me know if you have any questions. for now.